Hey guys, welcome back. So in my last tutorial, I've shown you how to use your Angular Material Data Table to fetch the data from a mock data. Uh, and then, you know, I made another tutorial where you can use the same data service to fetch the data from my SQL server or, or using PHP or any other backend uh, scripting language. So in this tutorial, what I've decided, I am going to use the same code and this time I'll be fetching the data from um, Firebase. So if you don't know what Firebase is, Firebase is a real-time database delivered by Google. It's extremely popular and it goes uh, and it gets very good along with uh, Angular. So in this uh, tutorial, I'll be fetching the data from the Firebase. One thing I also want to call out, Ang Angular 6 has just been released. So uh, I already updated my code to Angular 6. So my app, all the packages, all the services, all the everything is running on uh, version 6. So I'll be using um, um, Angular 6 to fetch the data from Firebase. So let's get started. So first thing is if you haven't signed up, it's very very easy to do that. Please sign up. And um, next thing you will need is uh, you you have to create a project along inside the Firebase. So when you create a project in Firebase, it asks you there are two different options. If you can sign up for a Firebase um, Firebase database, and the other option is Fire Store database. That's a newer database, Fire Store. So in this tutorial, I'm going to use Fire Store. Um, I have already signed up, and in this uh, in this database, all I'm going to do, I created a brand new collection. So that's all you need to do. Um, so for example app underscore data that's where i'm going to um, keep all my transactions uh, or like you know keep all my documents inside this so i created already created a new uh, collections is called app underscore data second thing is you need is uh, go to your rules and here you can set up who can read and write to your uh, database now the settings i have I do not recommend that. It's very, very dangerous. Right now, what I'm allowing, I'm allowing read and write uh, to everyone um, to this database. That's definitely something I don't recommend that. You can always manipulate your uh, rules here, but that's a, you know another tutorial. I can discuss the Firebase in another tutorial. But for now, let's just go with this one because this tutorial is basically about the how to use angular fire 2 and firebase inside your angular app so i'm just going with like you know allowing everybody to read and write uh, basically i don't even need to write because I, I i can just say read so that way you know everybody will be able to only read it from my database okay second thing you'll you will need here you need to go to your project overview okay and add firebase to your web app so even if you are planning to publish your app to iOS or Android, uh, we can you can still do that using your Angular app. But for now, let's just go with the web app. And all you need to do, copy this string here. That's it. That's all you need here. Okay. Okay. Now let's head back to my Angular app. And as you can see, I'm already doing a ng serve. Um, and this is my app is already serving. The data uh, on my local port 4200 so right now this is pulling the data from my sql server and uh, i will include the description uh, uh, in in this description of this video i will include the link like how i got in here uh, but for now for this tutorial okay let's just go with this uh, we are fetching the data from my sql okay so now let's change it so quickly uh, first thing you will need to do you need to stop this one and then you need to do a couple of installations like npm install um, angular fire fire 2 uh, and before i do that i want to show you um, my package.json file as you can see everything is on version 6.0 so i'm using the latest latest version i'm on angular 6 already okay so okay so this time i want to install npm install angular fire 2 and i'm going to install firebase hyphen f1 save um, so this will install two different packages on my machine okay second thing is while i'm waiting you need to go to your environments environment.ts and you have to create a new um, settings here for firebase okay 
and here you need to copy that what you uh, copy all this what you just got it from the Firebase so copy the settings here okay now looks good I'm going to save this second thing is go back to your environment.prod.ts um, you have to update the same settings here as well uh, I think I'm good oh, sorry oops okay guys so I just finished installing these two packages angular fire 2 and firebase uh, let me just quickly go to my um, package.json and make sure that these two are here so I see angular fire 2 and I see like uh, they have rc7 and firebase 4.13.1 those are the two latest packages it is installed so it looks good I'm gonna close this I'm gonna close my environment.prod.ts and uh, as I was showing you I already made this correction here okay now next thing I have to do here let's quickly go back to your app.module.ts okay so first thing I want to do um, I'm going to import couple of angular fire 2 and firebase packages first thing I need is angular fire module um, second thing is I need is angular fire store module uh, there are other fire uh, angular fire 2 modules like fire auth uh, and storage module but for this demo I think uh, uh, I just need um, one more environment so it will bring the environment variable here the environment the firebase environment settings I defined I think that's pretty much it that's all I need uh, next thing I need to import those um, so I'm going to um, import the angular fire module and as you as you can see it I'm passing that environment firebase variable what I defined in the environment.ts file and I'm passing this to this module and what this code will do it will initialize my app this setting is is optional but again it's a good idea um, the, so the uh, it is a good idea to pass the name of your app okay second thing I believe I need like angular firestore module and that's pretty much it that's all I need for this uh, app.module.ts so it's pretty simple chain uh, next thing I want to do uh, go back to my backend data dot services again so my code earlier I'll just quickly show you so uh, this app actually this ma uh, material data table so this is the campaign uh, component material data table dot component ts and as you can see this was fetching the data from a php data code so look at this so I'm going to go to this get data um, get data function and as you can see this get data is getting is is getting that data from a PHP API defined here so first let's do one thing all I need to do so that's the uh, you see this is the reason I keep all my backend services at one place so now instead of using this PHP API I want to point it to the fire database so let's quickly do that first thing I will need I need to import that angular fire store um, and then I have to I want to include that in my constructor so I will initiate a private uh, variable for angular fire store and then um, instead of modifying this get data let me create a new function uh, I'll call it like get docs and then in get docs all I need to do I need to reference to this angular fire store and then I need to reference to this collection so remember like you know this is the collection um, if you remember I, I created inside the database I created a new collection and collection name was app underscore data so make sure the, num the name matches with uh, uh, with this code so app data and then all you need to do is value changes so value changes will bring um, all the data to this get docs that's all you need to do here um, next thing is mat data dot component dot this one in this code basically all you have to do get rid of this get data and point it to get docs so ideally I would have just modified the get data but you know because I created a new function I'm going to comment this out um, then I'm going to copy this over uh, this is not this okay now all I need to do instead of this get data I'll have to put uh, get docs okay and then uh, one more thing I just I, I made a mistake here in my uh, in my new firebase data model as you can see everything is at one level so there is no in my PHP model I had data like zero and then data and inside that data um, object I had those things here so I, I I need to get rid of this 
that's it that's the because the data structure is different that's the only change i have to do so i think that's pretty much it and uh, i think that's that's all it takes to point to your firebase and um, that's how easy it is to change your backend data service and point to the new firebase i'm going to serve this app and uh, let's okay guys so i just fired this ng serve and as you can see i was hoping that everything is going to work but uh, unfortunately not everything is smooth so as you can see is giving me the errors and less uh, and this is the reason we are doing this live coding video okay so let's see that this is saying uh, that angular fire 2 is not able to find um, that exported member on this angular fire 2 so looks like there's something wrong with this new installation and um, let me just quickly tell you the resolution as well so i'm going to look at the error code ts230405 what I'm going to do, I'm going to hit up, hit to my GitHub repository, not my GitHub repository, say Angular Fire 2 GitHub repository. Okay. So first of all, you have to figure it out where the problem is. And this code is telling me that there's some problem with the Angular Fire 2. So that's, I took a wild guess. I, I think like something is wrong with my Angular Fire 2. So let's go with this one. And here I will quickly go to the issues. I'm going to type this error code TS2305 TS2305 and uh, let's see okay so it took me a while because I have to go through all the documentation but I just want to save you some time and uh, I just want to share what is the exact resolution so uh, I followed this uh, their you know recommendation and all they are saying because it looks like I'm missing this RxJS compact at six and basically when you do the ng update when you're uh, coming from the um, Angular five uh, or in this case my everything my app was entirely on Angular six but even though that gave me a problem and I think it's because of this I'm missing this compact sys um, compact at six version so I'm just going to copy this go back to my um, terminal window and then I'm going to install this okay and once this is installed I'm going to hit okay guys so as you see I just installed finished installing this uh, um, rxgs compat and rxgs at 6 and I just fired ng serve and as you can see the error is gone so everything looks good uh, let me head back to my app and as you can see is pulling that eight entries and let me go quickly back to my m um, my firebase database and as you can see there are three four three seven there are eight different entries so uh, basically that's pretty much it that's how easy it is to just change your code backend service and you can use any database you want so uh, basically again one more thing i want to mention here that this wasn't a complete tutorial about the angular fire 2 and firebase um, and I should have shown you the entire CRUD operation, but here I'm just, I just quickly wanted to show you um, that how you can connect your Angular 6 app to Angular Fire 2. And um, now everything seems to be working. Um, next tutorial I'll be working on, I'll, be sh I'll show you how to do an entire CRUD operation properly. That means like you can set, you have to set up your Firebase rules properly so that not everybody can read and write to Firebase. Uh, and then second thing is like you know i'll show you the entire crud operation you can do from your backend services um well that's uh, that's pretty much it in this video uh, thank you again thank you